Here's five tips that are going to make you better at Apex Legends right now in Season 18. My name is Vivid and I have over 3,000 hours played in a 4K badge with every single legend in the game. These tips range from game mechanics all the way to game strategy, so don't worry, I got you covered. Tip number one, recoil smoothing. This is for my controller players out there. Sorry, PC, if you want to learn how to aim better with your keyboard and mouse, go jitter aim or something, I don't know. For my controller players, if you have a hard time aiming, this is a way to keep your recoil to zero, bro. Literally no recoil. All you want to do is take your left stick, which is like your movement stick, which controls your character, and just hold it all the way left, all the way right, all the way up, all the way down. doesn't matter. And then with the other analog stick, kind of want to hold it steady. It's still, it's still what controls your recoil, essentially, but the left stick actually eliminates the recoil. Like It doesn't go up. Tip number two, focus on cover. This is a big one, man. This can help your team in so many ways. Keep you from getting knocked. Keep you from getting super low. Helps you get a reload off. Helps you... See the battlefield without getting tunnel vision on one opponent because you're on the open having an intense fight. Stay behind cover just makes everything slow down. And you have the ability to think, process the situation, and get out of there alive. You get what I'm saying? Tip number three, don't run away. And this kills me and it kills a lot of people. And for me, coming from a solo queue, uh, no field background with the 4K badges and stuff, this happens a lot to teams that I pretty much roll. And typically, I'll get somebody super weak. And that will cause them to actually leave the battle completely. And so by the time I have their other teammates down or finished, they're just not coming back. And it's an easy cleanup. So to avoid this, if you ever take too much damage, you feel like you need to disengage, I suggest going back to tip number two. Stay behind that cover. Get a heal off. Maybe focus on a mech kit or a bat. And just watch your teammates' health. If it drops too low, maybe re-engage. But outside of that, I wouldn't run too far away because that can give the other team the advantage. Always stick around your teammates, man. That's, that's another one. Hey man, real quick, go down below, hit that like button, that sub button, it takes one or two seconds, ain't nothing too big, I appreciate your time, All right, let's get back to the video. So tip number four, weapon combos, and this just depends on your playstyle and what you're trying to achieve in that game, so we're going to look at it from a rank perspective, say so you're playing passive, you're just going for zone, trying to get the best place in zone and just kind of relax and take things slow, I would suggest using maybe a Martian Rifle slash Sniper with a AR combo. Um, that's probably your best bet to keep things medium to long range. So, but if you're looking for more of a aggressive playstyle, or maybe a passive aggressive playstyle where you can force the fight if you need to, I would run like an AR with the SMG combo. Me personally, I'm running 301 to car. Now, if you're a little more aggressive and you look to have more of a close range type of fight, or you're just you're willing to push buildings that already have any players there, so you can get a better position, you're not too worried about seeing the outside of the zone. I would recommend SMG to shotgun or smg to wingman personally i do smg to wingman because it can the wingman can kind of go around all the uh play styles so it's a good choice for me so when i'm playing loba and i feel like i'm the aggressive person i'm the one that's catching the bodies wingman a car is my go-to but you may have that it's in number five legend combo a lot of people don't realize this is actually super important when it comes to rank a lot of people run their mains and they don't really focus on anything else besides that which i i do the same thing i run loba pretty much no matter what but luckily she fits into a lot of different combos as far as the legends and who fits what and who does well, man. So to break it down on what's the best thing to do, typically you need a rotational legend, a support legend, and a control legend. So for example, say you're the last pick and the first, uh, first guy on your team picks Pathfinder, second person picks Loba. For me, I would pick Watson, Rampart, or Catalyst, something like that. And then vice versa, if somebody picked Loba first, the next person picked Wraith, you would do the same thing, Catalyst, Watson, you know what I'm saying? You just pick Legends based on the previous pick. And if you're the first pick, hey, man, pick your main, and hopefully people pick around you, man. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Hit that like button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.